Justin Hawkins writes a man. That's the wrong chord. Good day to you, desire Justin Hawkins. Like, subscribe. Um, today, on Justin Hawkins Writes Again, I'm going to be talking about songwriting. What motivates a songwriter? What is songwriting? And some of the pitfalls of the writing process. Um, not talk, I'm not going to talk about the specifics of it because I think everybody's got a different uh, system. I think some people don't have a system. For some people, writing songs is as simple as sitting there with a guitar like it's a butterfly net and you're waiting for a song to go past and you grab it and you try and nurture it and sometimes it's like you catch a raindrop in your hand and then you have to walk across a desert like this and hope it doesn't evaporate or fall off in the process of you know creating a record and realizing the original dream that's inside there and for some people it's like and Neil Young says this one he's he's standing outside the rabbit hole with a gun waiting for the rabbit, which is the song, to poke its head out and then he can shoot it um, and then tie it to all the other rabbits, throw it over his shoulder and then go straight to the recording studio with all of the song rabbits ready to go. Um, some people who will remain nameless, the writing process involves um, thinking carefully about what kind of phrases um, and what kind of lyrical content would make the song most suitable for a synchronization either with a, um, a, a big movie, anything to do with heroes, or a song that involves um, some kind of power, you know? So you're talking about power, love, power, power of love. Not the power of love. Those are beautiful songs, all three of them. The powers of love. Um, or, you know... Things, if there's a, a trend in, in movies, I was thinking specifically of the, the Marvel and, and DC um, adaptations that have been happening. I was t talking to a, a producer the other day and he said that there was um, things like um, stuff with hearts in it, um, stuff with fire. There's probably um, a spreadsheet somewhere with a keyword mentioned in a song title and how well it's done in terms of synchronizations with, with movies. Because in fact, if you're a songwriter, I think that's the most effective and quick way to make some serious money. Get a song in a movie or get a song in an advert. Then there's people who write um, songs that are inspired by a recent hit. Like I've been in situations so many times when I've gone and sat down with, a, with an artist and they say, Oh, I'd like to do something that sounds like the Imagine Dragons, uh, who are currently in the charts and, and doing really well. And it's like, what? Are you sure you don't want to just do your own thing? No, I want to be on the radio, so I've got to sound like that. So in my view, there are definitely two reasons to write songs, and one of them is a wholesome reason. Maybe you've got something that you need to express, and this is your vehicle to be able to actually get something off your heart and chest. Um, maybe... Uh, you just are a conduit for the songs that I happen to believe are in the ether. Um, maybe you're just, when you play, there's a muse upon you and you just you come out with stuff that you don't know where it, you don't know what the, there's no motivation for doing it, it just happens because you're a natural and you're a gifted songwriter. There are people like that, I know there are. Um, I'm going to do some more, um, I'm going to do some. Uh, videos about my favourite songwriters. One of them is Ron Sexsmith, I think he's a natural. Um, I'm going to do one about Richard Thompson, who I think is probably more of the cathartic type of songwriter. He's a great storyteller, but he also does stuff that seems like it might be a therapeutic for him. Um, and many others uh, over the next hundred years. Um, but I just think, in terms of motivation, if, you, if you're sitting down to write a song, Okay, that's a noble, and um, it's a noble pursuit, and I applaud you. But um, don't write a song because you want to get it on the radio. Don't write a song because you want to get it in a film. Don't write a song because you think it could be synchronized with a Coca-Cola advert if you say something about bubble love or, or you know sugary bubble. Actually, I'm gonna write that down. That's good. Sugary bubble love with lots of caffeine in it, something like that. Or don't. Just don't do it. Don't do it to try and impress your friends either. 
don't do it to woo um, your spouse <laughs> or or don't do it to because you want to create something that, that fits in with somebody else's idea of what's cool. Um, just write from the heart. And sometimes it's going to be, sometimes it will be because there's something out there that you're, that you're able to connect with. And at the risk of sounding like a f***ing hippie, which I'm not, there's, there's something in the air. And you just have to be in tune with it. And sometimes there's things in your brain and your heart that you need to say or else you explode. That's a different kind of songwriting, equally valid. But the, the reason not to write a song is to make money or to influence people or to further your career. There's just no point. And also, I think people can hear it. There's, there's something horrible and cynical about it. How are you going to feel about yourself if you do something just for that? The other thing is, there are, there are songwriters... That, I mean, there's only 12 notes in, a, in an octave, right? Including the semitones. So, here they are. Two of them are the same, just an octave out. So within that, that's, that's, that's your scope for creating melodies if you're operating in the traditional Western pop mode. Um, so there will inevitably be similarities between one song and another. That's one of the things I always do is I, I, I employ what we used to call the phantom publishing technique where you listen to something that you've written and you try and establish whether you've taken the melody from something else. If you if you don't if you can't remember where you've heard it before or why it's familiar to you, it could just be that it's great in its own right. Um, as long as you don't knowingly take something from somebody else, I think that's the, that should be the rule. Really, there's definitely musicologists who will analyse two things and tell you whether one thing's too close to the other. That's a that's a black art as far as I'm concerned. You have to you have to just be honest with yourself about where you got your ideas from. And if it's from the ether, or it's just some kind of um, uh, subliminal influence because of the things that you were brought up on and things that you're listening to, that's okay. It's not okay to listen to, for example, In Excess, Need You Tonight, and then make a song that goes, Dent, 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 da 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 Need You Tonight. That's not, that's not acceptable. It's not, and it's not okay to say, yeah, well, I like those songs, so it's okay to do something that's influenced by it. No, that's stealing. Influence has to be... Subliminal has to be involuntary. It has to creep in and seep in, just because of your exposure to it. It should be by osmosis. It should never be because you want to do something that sounds like that, and then you end up doing exactly that. It's just not fair. It's not fair on the other songwriters. Um, there are. It's a numbers game as well. I would say that. Try and write as many songs as possible. Spend as much time as you can with a guitar in your hand, and then you've got an opportunity to capture the butterfly or shoot the rabbit or express what's in your brain and heart. This is, this is your loud hailer, I suppose. Um, or, you know, piano, whatever your instrument happens to be. Bassoon, perhaps. Um, just spend the time doing it. Um, I, I think uh, a lot of people will tell you if you sit down to write a song, nine times out of ten you won't come up with anything. Um, what else is, what's my other tip? Don't feel obliged to be honest. Tell a story if you want to. It can be a narrative, it can be complete fantasy. It can be honest. Uh, never feel obliged to tell people what you're writing songs about. Be as, you can be as obscure as you like or as detailed as you like. There's no rules, basically. The only one rule I think that there should be is no stealing. Okay? Plagiarism is the most disgusting is the most disgusting way to write songs. Um, so think carefully about where you're getting your ideas from. Always listen to what you've written and uh, cross-reference it with things that you've been listening to recently to make sure you haven't just lifted it. Um, never knowingly copy somebody else. Otherwise, you're a fraud. Just be real, man. <laughs> Like and subscribe. Cheers.